Hey you guys, Keto Diamond with a Keto Grocery Haul. I found some items in our local Walmart that I'm kind of excited about. I did get some of them, not all of them. Yeah, because Keto products can be, well, a bit pricey and sketchy, as many of you know. So, I got a few. I'm going to show them to you in my little short grocery haul. Oddly enough, now, all, all that I got wasn't keto, but everything I'm going to show you is keto. All in all, I spent like over $105 on it. Like I was saying, I've got some great products. I'm going to show them to you now. And at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think about one, two of the new ones that I found. The other ones you'll find out about as we go over the week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. I do this all the time. So, I've got a small keto grocery haul here. I uh, couldn't get as much as I thought I was going to get, but... I found some things I've never ever seen before, so I'm going to show them to you. Uh, so I've got some sirloin chops and some uh, more sirloin chops because they were on sale at Cheaper and Bigger. And of course, I had to get some Texas Pete to go on them. Uh, this is one thing I've never seen before. Cauliflower hash browns. Will I like them? Probably not, but I'm going to give them a shot. Got a head of lettuce back here. Of course, some eggs. Cheese sticks. I did get some stevia drops to try out in my coffee. I got me some more hazelnut decaffeinated coffee. And these are, are something else. I, I, this is the first time I found Applegate stuff in our Walmart. So these are no sugar herb, uh, chicken and herb breakfast sausages. No antibiotics ever. We're going to try those out. <clears throat> and of course, I've never seen these either, but I had to get some. Extraordinary Bites. One net carb keto friendly white bread. We're going to have to try these. And to go on them, of course, I got some American cheese and some oven roasted chicken. Let's see how this works out, y'all. All right, so to end, to sum up, I tried the Stevia Liquid. Three squirts. Very, very sweet coffee. Uh, I'm not good with the squirt thing, but I still keep doing it. But I do think maybe it is a better option over the packets. Coffee's good, though. And... Last night, I tried the keto bread I found at Walmart, which, by the way, is $5, and the cat immediately got into one loaf, and I wanted to, I didn't, but I wanted to a lot, $5 a loaf, but at least it gives me a bread option, and I do think it's better than the zero net carb bread I at Aldi's. it's a lot better, too. Yeah, I, I think it's it's quite a bit better. So, um, I didn't look at the ingredients on purpose, because I know I'll feel guilty if I even look at them, and I'll be like, oh, I can't have that, 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 and that, but... Weigh-in-wise, it worked out, and you'll have to just check that video at some point. I would put it now, but it'll be up today sometime. Anyway, guys and dolls, that's my take on these new products that I've tried. There's a couple more that I haven't gotten to try yet. You'll see all about that. Much love, many prayers, thumbs up.